Um, this is a slip and fall in a hospital, um, and we were retained by the attorneys representing the hospital who were hoping to get us to enhance the video footage. Now, that's an incredibly common request for us. I mean, as you guys probably are familiar with, people are very used to watching CSI, and they think that you can zoom in off of a mirror in the background and press a magic enhance button and all of a sudden clarify a reflection, right? Yeah, and, and um, no definition of what they mean by enhance. Right. Oh, no, yeah, right. There's just an enhance button. It's a single button, right? Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> so there are some really cool things that we can do in the enhancement world that I'll, I'll come back to and kind of double back over that statement. But let's just focus on this quick case example and what they were hoping to get out of this and what we actually were able to do for them, which I think is more powerful than what they were expecting. So here's a video file that I was sent. And the slip and fall happens over there. And in fact, it's already happened. So let me go back in time and let's replay this. Here comes the slip and fall, and they fall. So do you see anything kind of interesting about this video right off the bat? Um, fairly slow frame rate. Yeah, what, what, what do you think the frame rate is? Can we? Two a second, maybe? Yeah, we can actually see a timestamp right here that's flipped and inverted too, which yeah. for me is another big red flag. There's something funky going on with this. Um, and it's kind of hard to see that it's flipped, but if, if we can actually see that this is only about one frame every four seconds, ah, ah. which is ridiculous. I mean, trying to observe an event where we've only got these little snapshots, one out of every four seconds, is going to not help at all when we try to follow an event where a person slips and falls. In fact, we can see that the individual right there, yeah. he's the individual that slips and falls. And we have this frame, and then we have that frame. So can I yeah. enhance that and give them more clarity? That's really the question that they were asking. But the problem here for me is that this video file that was sent, this MP4 file, if we look and interrogate this with an input A's, not only do we see that we have that inverted timestamp, we also see that we have these black borders, which is another bit of a red flag for me that this probably isn't the original file. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then another bit of a technical thing that we go through in the two-day class, which I won't go through too, many, too much detail on, but um, you'll notice here as well that in the metadata for this file, we can sure. see this common English here that says Microsoft H.264 encoder version 1 for Windows. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure if you can see that on your computer, but yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. a pretty, pretty um, obvious sign for me that someone converted this original file using some free converter they found online called Microsoft H.264 encoder version 1 for Windows. And that has what led to this particular file. So I had to fight a bit tooth and nail to get the attorney to send us the original because their argument was that no one could play the original file. This is the only file that anyone could play. So why can't I just enhance this for us? <laughs> And it's always a bit frustrating when they say that. <laughs> yeah. But finally, they sent us this AVI file. Right. And this is probably something very like what you were experiencing before, where no one can play this. It might look like it's corrupted. Um, you can kind of get a frame here and there where there's like a big old block of data that looks like just garbage information. Yeah. But there's some sort of data here. The reason is that this is a proprietary file format, and if I drag and drop this into input ace, this falls into a bit of a special category where input ace identifies that this is not one of the files that we can play immediately, which is the vast majority of files that we that we play. You just click a button and you can play it right away. But this one actually needs to get converted first. So we're going to press yes. I'm going to say go ahead to my desktop. It doesn't take very long at all. It's only a few seconds. And what's going to result here is that we have a new version of the file that is now a converted version that is uncompressed. So it's the same visual quality, but now we have 30 frames per second instead of one. Go ahead. It's the right way around. And it's the right way around, exactly. So if we no zoom borders. now into, and there's no black borders, exactly. And here comes our individual right here, and he trips and he falls. On the special ah. Took it on the threshold. Right. Yeah, you can even see that his foot right there is touching oh, the, yeah. the kind of threshold of the door. Yeah. Um, his argument originally was that the construction company had left materials on the ground uh, right here, and then he tripped over that. Um, and so all I did was throw this in input A's, play this, crop this area out, enlarge it, and I submitted that file. And then the next day, the other side dropped the case. <laughs> so, oops. Yeah, it 
did we enhance the footage? No. I mean, sure, I guess, <laughs> if they want to think that. Um, but I think this really harkens to the power of what Input Ace is giving us, which is starting with the right data right from the start can give us advantages that we will not have otherwise. <clears throat>